What's up YouTube, Tactical Suite here once again. Thanks for watching. So on tap today, we're gonna to be doing a quick tabletop review of a holster I picked up recently. I've been running this for about three weeks now. I wanted to give it a little bit of time to you know, form an opinion on it. And uh, as you can see, obviously we're talking about the Vetter Holsters Light Tuck. Uh, it's a Kydex holster. Um, you know, there's when it comes to holster reviews, there's not a, a ton of stuff to talk about. Most of the time, they either work or they don't. Um, so, you know, just a couple of things I want to touch on. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the looks, the fit and finish, comfort, you know, stuff like that, little details. Uh, for the most part, I'm going to be using this as my comparison. Uh, this is the holster I have been running for a while now. It's the uh, Blade Tech Clipped. Um, so, yeah, I've been running this for a while. Um, there are some things about the Light Tuck that are, in my opinion, improvements on the uh, Blade Tech here. And we'll talk about those. First and foremost, uh, looks. Uh, <laughs> I went a little bit above and beyond. I mean, they sell these in a lot of different colors. You can go basic black if you just want to do it cheap. I uh, spent a little bit of extra money and went with this nice uh, Cryptek Typhon pattern. Um, love it uh you know just a little bit of extra nobody's really going to see it except me or you know if i'm you know showing it to somebody but um just wanted to do something a little bit nicer but very nice love the way it looks um as far as the uh you know fit and finish of this uh vetter did a really nice job with this um all the edges here you know you got you know they're rounded inward towards the end of the barrel here all these cut edges are sanded down very very nice and smooth uh, no hard sharp edges for you to uh, you know have dig into you or anything like that cause discomfort uh, they really did a nice job with this um, the inside again very nice and smooth no sharp jagged edges in there that you're gonna have to worry about um, you know messing up with the finish so yeah they did really well um, molded very well um, molded to fit the gun that you buy it for um, gun slides in there very nice and you get that nice click uh, you know it's locked in there it's not coming out unless you want it to um, which brings me to the improvements that I think this has over over the holster I have been running and that's going to be adjustability um, as you can see with this one, this one uh, is an injection molded plastic. Um, the clip on here is plastic as well, but it, it works. It, it holds on to the belt, no problem. But um, as you can see, it's not adjustable. So you are stuck with this where it's at. If you don't like it, um, you're not going to like the holster. So no adjustment for ride height, no adjustment for cant. Um, so pretty much this is an appendix holster. If you want to run it somewhere else other than appendix, you're probably going to have to run a different holster because this ain't going to work for it. Now with this, again, I am running appendix right now. So, I mean, I have my clip pretty much straight up and down just like this. But if uh, I'm wearing a different style of clothing, I want to carry a little bit different, I can then, you know, loosen up the screw and I can adjust the cant. Uh, I can run this at a four or five o'clock position with a little bit of forward cant. Um, I can do that with this. Um, I can also adjust the ride height with this. Um, if I want to go really deep concealment, uh, as you can see, there's three different positions here. You got a, a set of holes there. You got the middle set that I'm running in right now, and then you got two higher sets. So if you want to run deep concealment, you can run this on the higher side and bring the holster down further into your waistband. Or just the opposite you can run it higher if you want a little bit you know easier grab on the gun but you're not worried about concealment as much um, you can do a lot of different things with this um, another thing you can adjust right here is the retention uh, again with this this is just straight riveted on there the retention you get is the retention you get uh, with this you can tighten it up you can loosen it um, honestly right out of the box it was great um, again nice solid audible click um, it's not coming out unless you want it to the clip itself is metal um, it is a little stiff which I like um, because if you have to sh you know if you have to struggle a little bit to get it on and off 
um, it's definitely not going to come off by accident. So I don't mind, you know, having to put a little effort, you know, bending it up and, and sticking it down over the belt. I don't mind that because then I know it's not going to come off when I don't want it to. Um, but nice, solid, well built, you know, all around. They uh, they paid attention to the fine details in this. Did really well. Um, now, since we're being totally honest here, uh, as I've said in, before in a lot of my videos, uh, I'm completely honest. Um, I don't put out good reviews for product or any anything like that. If there's something I don't like about something, I'm going to bring it up. Um, and I did have an issue with this right out of the box. Right here, the, uh, the hardware that attaches the clip to the holster. Um, I loosened up the screws to adjust it. I wanted to try some different positions with it. And as I took it off, this fell out of the bottom of the holster. Um, what this is is the, uh, the threads for the attachment hardware. As you can see right here, this side has the piece on there. This side doesn't. It broke off. Uh, I don't know how it happened, whether it was... Uh, you know, maybe it's just a, a faulty piece or if it was tightened a little bit too much from the factory. I don't know what happened with it, but it did break. Um, so I contacted Vetter and no questions asked. The very next day they had new hardware in the mail and within a couple days I had it and I was up and running again. Um, no problem since. I, you know, I've changed this around several times trying different configurations and um, I haven't had it happen again. So, um, did I have an issue with this out of the box? Yep, sure did. Um, but, you know, looking around at other reviews, I haven't seen it, you know, being a problem with anybody else. So I think it was just a one-off thing. But, you know, as I've said before, um, to me, the true measure of a company is how they handle things when it goes wrong. Um, do they make it right for the customer? And, you know, Vetter has a uh, lifetime warranty on these. If anything goes wrong with them, you let them know, they're going to make it right. And from what I've seen so far from them, I can tell you 100% that that is correct. They will. As I said, no questions asked. Didn't, didn't ask me for any proof, any pictures, um, nothing. They just said, absolutely, we'll get, a, we'll get some new hardware out to you first thing in the morning. And I had a tracking number within... 24 hours and I had the hardware within a couple days and I was back up and running so you know big thumbs up to Vetter there um, handled a problem very well um, to my satisfaction so their customer service is great the products are great um, I'm still running that that Cobra quick release belt from Vetter um, with this I said like I said about three weeks now um, very comfortable uh, as far as you know you know, I run appendix. A lot of people don't like appendix, but you know, this this holster doesn't cause me any issues that I don't have with any other appendix holster. Um, and in all honesty, the uh, the nice uh, finish of the uh, the Kydex here is nice and smooth. So you know, this area here that's up against the skin, no issues uh, with this. It's a little bit rougher, and after a while of wearing it, it can kind of oh, start feeling like sandpaper a little bit. It's not horrible, but it is rough. This is nice and smooth. Feels great against the skin, no problems. So, yeah, all in all, um, really good job by Vetter. Um, again, it's a it's a holster, a Kydex holster. There's there's not a whole lot of difference between Kydex holsters, but you know. The way I look at things, you know, the, the devil's in the details, and they paid attention to the details when they made this. So, as I said, you know, all the edges are nice and smooth, fit and finish, uh, looks great, feels great, it's adjustable, their customer service is on point. Um, yeah, not much else to say on top of that. So, uh, if you're in the market for a, uh, a new holster, definitely give Vetter a shout. Uh, they've got, you know, this version here inside the waistband. They've got some outside the waistband options. A um, lot of different things out there for you to check out and try. You know, as I said, a bunch of different color patterns you can choose from. A lot of variety. All right, guys. 
that's all we got today. Just wanted to throw this out there. Uh, give a shout out to a small, again, American made small family owned business right here vetter holsters um, and anytime i get a chance to support a company like that i'm, I'm all for it so uh, great product for a uh, a small family owned american business that's all we got today guys uh as always if you like what i'm doing give me that thumbs up and by all means if you're not already please hit that subscribe button up there stay up to date with any new videos we got coming out we will catch you later Till next time, live life and have fun out there.